Okay, so the first question is what is uh, financial management? Okay, so we said that every decision a business makes has financial effect. So everything a business does can be put underneath finance. Okay, for example, pricing and advertising for a new product. Even though this looks like marketing, deciding the price and deciding how we're going to do the advertising, it's still related to finance because we have to find the money to pay for the marketing and we have to make a decision. Is it a good idea to pay the money for the marketing? If we pay this much money, can we get back more money? Okay. So, each decision is related to finance. So, we want the students to understand the theory about finance and to apply this in the real world. Okay? Uh, already people have done a lot of study and made a lot of theories about finance, so we're going to study about those theories. Okay? And then we'll use this technique, like way, to understand, analyze and solve problems. And also we want to just see the big picture of finance. So we're going to use the word firm here in this course. Uh, we could use word like company, we could use a word like business. We're going to use the word firm. It's a short word, right? So firm is going to be referred to any business which is big or small, manufacturing business or service business private business or public business. So a grocery store, Microsoft, they are all firms. Okay? Small little shop and big company like Microsoft, all firms. Okay? Do you understand what a firm is? First vocabulary word, firm. Okay? So the firm's investments are generally called assets. So assets are things we own that have value. Do you understand what an asset is? What are your assets? What do you own that has value? Your cell phone. Your cell phone? Anything else? That's it? Backpack. Backpack. Okay. Anything you own that has value is an asset. What about Microsoft? What kind of assets do Microsoft have? Operating system. They have intellectual property too, right? Do you understand intellectual property? Can I just copy Microsoft's intellectual property? No, right? So their intellectual property is an asset. Do you understand intellectual property? IP? If you have an idea, it can be intellectual property. Okay, it's original, it's just your idea. So Microsoft Excel is like intellectual property, right? People can't copy that. What about a grocery store? What are the assets of a grocery store? What does a grocery store have that has value? Hmm? Food, what kind of food? Hmm? A grocery store, for example, is latte, super, right? What, what can you buy in latte, super? What can you buy in Latte Super? Milk, right? So they also have other assets like building. Maybe they own the buildings, okay? What about the trademark, Latte? The trademark, is that an asset? Yes, they own the trademark. They own the name. Is it valuable? Yes, it is, right? Sometimes for some companies the trade, the brand can be almost the most valuable thing. Right? Companies like Coca-Cola, brand is nearly more valuable than all of their buildings and all of their factories, right? So, <laughs> these are called assets. So, we have some important decisions that financial managers need to make. They need to decide on how to invest the money well. That's an investment decision. Do you understand invest? 
Two jar. Hmm? Invest. Okay. Find the right way to get the money they need for the investments. Okay, so I cannot, will I use my own money? Will I get a loan from the bank? Okay. My friend give me some money. Can I sell stock to the public? I can get money by selling stock to the public. That's called financing. Financing means getting money. Okay? So it would be easier in finance if they just said getting money. Right? But getting money just sounds too, too simple. So they use a bigger word like financing. Okay? So we need to learn those kind of words because that's the word they use in the business. They don't say get money. They say financing. So the next one is pay profit back to the owners of the firm if there is not enough new investments. And this is called dividends. Pay dividends. So that's the dividend decision. So we have to think about these three decisions. Okay? So we said here we have the investment decision, financing decision, and dividend decision. So our course is going to be based this, this slide here sums up what we're going to learn in the course. Okay? We're going to spend uh, a, more than 50% of the time on this one. It's the most important one. Okay? We'll spend about 20 or 30% of the time on this one. And then just 10% of the time on this one. Okay? So the most important one is this one here. The investment decision. Okay? When we invest, like we explained about the marketing, we want to invest the money only in the project where we get more back, where we make a profit. Okay? So that sounds like common sense. Okay? How do you say common sense in Korean? Sanction, right? Don't invest in something where you have a higher risk of losing your money. Okay? Then the profit you can make. So invest in assets that earn a return greater than the hurdle rate. Okay, so the hurdle rate we use for measuring the riskiness of the investment. And the return we use for profit we can make on the investment. Okay? Then the financing decision, we have to find the best mix of debt and equity. Okay, and then the dividend decision, how much money should we pay back to the owners from our profit? Should we reinvest in the company, the money, or should we give it back to the owners? And all of these things are focused on maximizing the value of the firm. Maximize means make as big as possible the value of the firm. So let's look at each of these principles. So for the investment decision, we said we should invest in assets and projects that give higher returns. Return is profit on an investment. Okay? It's easier to say profit, maybe, for you, but we're going to use return. It's a little bit more specific because it's profit on an investment, right? During this course. Do you understand the word return in English? It's like the money is returning or coming back, right? More money is returning, more money is coming back. <clears throat> then, to do this, we have to first calculate the cost of capital. Capital. Capital is money invested in a business to generate income. So the first class, or the first few weeks, we're going to learn a lot of new words. Okay, a lot of new vocabulary. But then you'll see these words again and again, five, six, ten times over the course, right? So usually the first few weeks is a little bit more challenging because you have a lot of new words, okay? They're important words. So cost of capital. Capital is money invested in the business to generate income. So we can think of money, really, capital, right? So how much does the money cost? If I get a loan from the bank, how much is the interest rate? Can anybody tell me? What do you think? If you get a loan from the bank, how much is the interest rate? 
대출 하면 이자율 얼마요? Depend on credit. Mm, what do you think? It's different. Depends on person, each person's credit. It depends on everybody's credit, right? What's a, what? Just give me a number. I don't know, just like 6%. Maybe 6%, right? In that case, your cost of capital was 6%, okay? It cost you 6% to get the money. Get a loan, okay? Then you're going to, at the student festival, you're going to sell some pancakes. Do you like pancakes? Yes. yes? So you're going to sell pancakes. But you figure out your revenue. Is your money coming in? Revenue is $100. Okay? Cost is, is $90, $95. So you made $5. About 5% return, right? On the pancake. But your cost of money, your cost of capital, was how much? You got a loan from the bank. You got a loan from the bank, right? Of a hundred dollars loan, and the cost was six percent, right? So you have to pay six percent to the bank. So you have to pay six dollars to the bank. Are you going to do this project? Why not? There is no profit. You have to get a higher return than the cost of the money. Okay? Maybe this cost includes your salary too, right? Maybe you give yourself some salary for working at the thing, right? But anyway, we, we, we're not going to do that, right? We're not going to uh, organize that for. The cost of capital is higher than the return. Okay? So that's the basic principle. That's called a hurdle rate. This six dollars is called a hurdle rate. Do you understand hurdle? I am very good at art. The run when you're running in the you have to jump over the hurdle. Did you do hurdling in school? No, you never did hurdling in school. Athletics, jumping over the hurdle. No, well we use this idea for finance. We have to get it has to be over. We have to be over six dollars, or else don't invest. Okay? So this is called the hurdle rate. Here. <clears throat> then after we calculate how much money we can make on the assets or projects, so it should be measured based on cash flow. Another new word: cash flow is the difference in the amount of cash available at the beginning of the period and the amount at the end of the period. So if we look at our cash flow here, how much was our cash flow? The difference between the money at the start and the end. Hmm? The difference between the two monies. Five. Our cash flow was five dollars. Plus five dollars. Okay? So, at the end we had extra five dollars in cash. You understand cash, Yangu? Right, do you understand flow, moving? Flow is moving. So cash flow, the cash is moving here. Our cash flow here is five dollars. Okay, our <coughs> and the timing of these cash flows, right? In this case it's quite simple, but we could have a project where Next year and next year and next year we're getting some cash flow. Okay? Cash next year, is that worth the same as cash today? Or a different value? If I give you man one next year or man one today, is that the same or different? Different. different. Why? Because it can be deflation or inflation. Inflation is one easy reason, right? So the cash flow is a different value over time. And uh, then if the cash received in later years, it's not as valuable as in the present. So this is called discounting. Discounting is reducing the value of the money to today's money. Okay. We'll talk about that in the time value of money. The financing principle. So the firm can raise, raise means find or get funds 
fund is an amount of money to be used for a specified purpose. Okay? So, we don't say, here we could say, find money. Would that be easier if we said find money? Yes? Which is easier, raise funds or find money? Which is easier to understand? Find money is going to be easy, right? Easier to understand. Find or get money. Okay? But in finance, they don't use the easy English like that. Okay? They have a different phrase. So instead of saying find money, they say raise funds. So we need to learn that. Because that's always used. Nobody says find money in finance, right? Everybody says raise funds. Okay? Raise funds is a phrase which means get money. So, <coughs> fund, just money used for a special purpose. So we can get funds from two ways, debt or equity. Debt, bank loan, okay? Equity, our own money, our friend's money, stock, stock. So firms can decide on how much debt and how much equity to use. So we could decide here, we could use $50 loan, $50, my own money, okay? So we decide mix, based on the situation, based which is the best for our company. And then the dividend principle is the final one. So all companies get to a stage in their life where the cash flow generated by the existing investment is greater than the funds needed to take on attractive investments. So we get to a point, we have high cash flow and we don't have any new investment or new project. Okay? So what are we going to do with all the cash? Have a big party, throw all the cash in the air? To who? The workers, like that. Give all the cash to the workers? workers. That's a nice idea. To the investors, to the owners, right? That's one of the reasons why the owners run the company in the first place. They want to make a profit, right? So it would be a nice idea if they just said, oh, we're doing great, let's give all the cash to the workers. Higher salary, right? It's a nice idea, maybe some companies might do that, right? But that's the decision they have to make. We could pay the workers, maybe their productivity will increase and we can get more uh, profits, but we can just give the money back to the owners. So we have to make a decision, okay? And if we don't have many good projects, then we just give the money back to the owners in the form of dividends. So there are some themes about this finance. The first one is corporate finance is common sense. You just said Sangchik, is that it? Sangchik? Yeah. Right? So for example, we wouldn't invest money for a 9% return if the funds cost 10% to raise. We just looked at this example, okay? Business people have known that for thousands of years. <coughs> so corporate finance is focused. We focus on maximizing the value of the business. Maximize means make as big as possible. Okay, do you understand maximize? It's easier to say maximize actually, it's short. We could say every time, make as big as possible. Make as big as possible is very long. So we use a maximize or to make as big as possible. So we want to make the value of the business as big as possible. Okay? So that's very focus. You understand focus? That's our main aim. Okay? Things change across the life cycle of a business. So do you know LinkedIn? LinkedIn is a new IT company, right? You can put up your, your CV or your resume on the website. Have you heard of LinkedIn? No, it's like Facebook but with the resume. Okay? So anyway, this kind of new company, they don't have any debt, they have no loans. Okay? Maybe the bank doesn't want to give them a loan because it's too risky. Right? It's a new company, very risky, so the bank might not want to give a loan. So they use a lot of equity. 
money from themselves or other investors. Okay, investments already made, very low. They haven't made many investments. Investments they can make in the future, very high. They're going to make a lot of investments in the future. This is a company which has been 20 or 30 years old, right? This company is very different. The bank knows them and trusts them. They have 20 or 30 years company, not just one year company. So the bank gives them loans at a low interest rate. Okay? They have a lot of debt. Okay? Equity is lower compared to debt. Assets. They have a lot of investments. They're making a lot of investments. New investments. Not many new investment. Okay? Already established company. So companies change, things change depending on where the company is in their life. Just starting out or established company. The finance is universal for small firms, big firms, US firms, Korean firms, the ideas are the same. Okay? And if you break these kind of principles, it can cause a problem in the in the company. So then uh, let's just we can either have a break for 10 minutes and discuss the questions later, or else we can discuss the questions and finish the class. Which do you want to do? Just discuss the question and finish the class? Yes? Okay. So, just with your partner, you can discuss these questions. So what are the three decisions? Can you remember the three decisions the financial manager should make? Yeah, so discuss with your partner together, right? <laughs> then I'll ask you. So usually in this class, I could ask the question and then just one person answers. Then maybe just one person might be thinking and 59 people might not be thinking, right? So I want everybody to be thinking. That's why I want you to discuss the question together, and then I, I will ask for you to I will ask a cold call. Do you know cold call? Cold call means I will ask your name from the list, so that it means that uh, the students need to participate in the class, right? So as I say, if you can't remember, that's okay. Just try to remember. So what are the three main decisions that the manager should make? Well, I, maybe I'll help you with that. With the slide, right? The first question. So discuss with your partner. What are the three decisions a financial manager needs to make? So where is the attendance list? Who has the attendance list? If anybody didn't get the syllabus, the syllabus is up here. You can come and take it. You didn't check your attendance. Did everybody check the attendance? So where is a uh, Chan Che Hong? Yes, so what are the three decisions that a manager should make? Main decisions. Yeah, so the cost of what? 
First, we think about the cost of money, cost of capital, and we compare that to the return. What's the name of that decision? Where we compare the cost of capital to our return. Ends with I, ends with T. Green word is Tuja. The investment decision, right? That's the first, the most important decision that we're going to study about, okay? We have a cost of capital, it costs us so much to get money, and we get returns of the profits, okay? We have to compare. What's the second one? Capital, so? Financing decision, right? So how are we going to get, what financing are we going to use? Are we going to use debt? Are we going to use equity, right? We have to decide how, where are we going to get the money, okay? And then the last decision, dividend decision. What's the decision we need to make with the dividend decision? We made a profit, let's say here we made a profit, let's say that our revenue was higher, and we make a profit, say we get 200 in revenue, right, we're going to make 100 and, let's say 115, uh, that's going to be 100% return, right, 105% return, so we have $105 at the end of the after our pancake, selling our pancake at the festival, we have $105. What decision do you need to make? Yes. Okay. Do I give the money back to people? Let's say we had some people who helped us with money. Give them back so much share of the profit. They get their share of the profit, right? Called dividend. Dividend is share of the profit. Or, reinvest the money. Next year we can have a bigger pancake one. Right, we can buy a new table and a new frying pan. Okay, so we can decide to reinvest the money. Invest again. Okay, J2JA. Is that, am I making up Korean words? J2JA, invest again. Yeah. Hmm? Or not invest again. Okay. That's the last decision. Does everybody understand the three main decisions? Investing decision, financing decision, and dividend decision. Okay. So, then the next question is what are the principle? We know the decision. Principle means some guideline. Do you understand guideline? How do you say principle in Korean? Wanchik, something like that? Right? So we have some principle which helps us to make the decision. Okay? So, what are the three principles? So I put up here to help you, right? So discuss with your partner. Let's start with the first one. What is the investment principle? Discuss with your partner. What principle should we use when we're making the investment decision? It's very simple. Common sense. Sanchik. So discuss with your partner. What is the principle we use when deciding whether to invest or not? People have known this for thousands of years. Right? Uh, Kim Ye Ran? Yes? <coughs> make investment. So the verb with investment is make. Yeah. Investments, we get higher returns than the cost. cost of? Yes, cost of the money, right? So you can start to say cost of capital. Because if I, cost of money is okay, but it sounds better if you say cost of capital because that's what they say in the finance world, right?
So our returns are higher than the cost of capital. Okay? So here we already explained using this example. Okay, that's a fairly fairly straightforward principle. What about the financing principle? What is the principle here? We have to decide where we should get our money. Should we use debt or equity? So what's the principle we use in this case? So discuss with your partner. So we can see this sentence here has the principle. Hi, Song. Hak Hee Song. Hak Hee Song is not here. Somebody check their name. You Day Wang. Im San Hyok. So what is the principle? for making the financing decision. Okay. Jo uh, Chang Yang. Okay, so important word here is specific, right? So this for, every firm has its own specific situation. Like we saw, LinkedIn, new company, okay? Maybe the debt is going to be very expensive because the banks don't want to give a loan, okay? So we look at the firm's specific situation and also we try to find which one gives the lowest, the lowest cost of capital using which one. And then finally, uh, the dividend principle. So what is the principle on dividends? So again, discuss with your partner. We didn't explain this word here, excess. Excess means more than needed, right? Sometimes the company has more money than it needs, right? So, <coughs> Han Gyeong Jung? Yes? What is the principle for dividends? To me, is Quack to me here? Why are you hitting him on the head? Okay, uh, Kim Sun Yong. Kim Sun Yong. Yes. 
Okay. Uh, does anybody know? Can anybody answer the question? Do you understand excess? Excess cash? More than you need? Company has more money than it needs, right? What's the principle? If the company has more money than it needs, what should it do? Yes, right? So that's the principle. If we have more money than we need, give the money back to the owners. Okay? Return, give back, right? Give back the extra money we don't need to the owners of the company, the stockholders. So those are the three principles. So look at this question. We run a, a restaurant and we expect to make an operating income. Operating income, revenue, minus cost, equals operating income here, right? So we have a restaurant and we expect to make an operating income before interest and tax of 10% a year. Okay, this was before the interest. Okay, imagine that we fund the investment 100% by bank loan and the interest payment is 15%. Would this be an intelligent investment? So discuss with your partner. Yes or no, and why? Are you going to make this investment or not? So, uh, Kim Yu Hyun, where is Kim Yu Hyun? Yes. Are you going to make this investment or not? I'm not sure. Kim Yu Mi, yes. Are you going to make the investment? No. That's correct. Why not? You don't know why not? Just you're not going to do it? Hmm? Can anybody say why not? Why shouldn't we make this investment? going to run a restaurant, you make 10% a year before the interest. The interest on the loan is 15%. Why are you not going to do the investment? Yes, the interest payment is higher than the 
return the operating income, right? The money you're getting. Okay, so it doesn't make sense to make the investment. Okay? And then, uh, just you have to test your partner. Just we're going to practice one each. So one, ask your partner, what are revenues, costs and operating income? Number two, what is capital? What is the cash flow? What is financing? What are dividends? What is assets? What's returns? What's maximums? Okay? So ask your partner every second one. You understand? You ask one, then you ask the next one. Okay? Explain the word. You can use your dictionary on your phone if you want to help you.
Okay, so then let's, uh, let's start. Uh, I'll ask one person one word. Nado uh, Young. First word, return. Oh, sorry, revenue. Revenue was the first word, yes. Revenue. Revenue. We talked about here revenue, cost. So what is revenue? We have the pancake stand. We sell a lot of pancakes. We get this much revenue. What is revenue? Another word for revenue. We sold a lot of pancakes and we got the money. So what's another word for revenues? Sales, right? Sales, sales. You understand sales? We sold. Okay, then what are costs? What does cost mean? It costs 100. We sold our pancakes, we got $110 in sales or revenues, right? But our costs were 100, so what is cost? What kind of things are cost if we have a pancake place? What kind of costs do we have? The ingredients, the labor, right? Those kind of things are costs, okay? What if the money it costs us to sell the product, okay? And then what's operating income? Hmm. Operating income is? Revenue minus costs, yes. Okay. So then let's look at the next one. Uh, Dojion. Yeah. So Dojion is uh, capital. What does capital mean? Capital like asset? No. Asset is a different word. What's a word we can use? An easy word we could use instead of capital. Capital here. Money, right? That's even enough. Money. But more specifically, capital is money invested in the business, okay? To make an income. Okay? So either a loan or the equity. Okay, next one. And. Pak Jion. Where is Pak Jion? Back to you. Mm. Okay, then you're next anyway. <laughs> uh, cash flow. Cash flow. What is cash flow? Here we can say cash flow. have this much cash, now we have this much cash, right? The start or the end, so difference in the amount of cash between the start and the end is cash flow. Uh, financing. Pack mm, J1. What does financing mean? Management of money, financial management. Yes, for financing more specifically. Yes, what kind? What is the company doing when they're financing? Yes, they're getting money, right? 
Getting money from investors is financing. Okay? Do you understand to get money? Receive money from investors is financing. Either from the bank loan or from uh, inv stock investors. Then dividends. Uh, awesome me. Yes, what are dividends? Yes, you found the word divide, right? Divide the profits to the owners, okay? Uh, assets, uh, Oh Chan Hu. What are assets? Assets is the opposite of debt and equity. Debt and equity is the money we use to buy the assets. What are assets? What are your assets? This phone. So what is an asset? Asset? What is it? Something that has value, right? Does your phone have value? Yes? Do you own it? Yes? We own it and it has value, asset. Then return. Uh, you Su Young. Where is you Su Young? E Dong Yun. What does return mean? In other words, return is like profits, right? Maximize. E Solvi. I can't hear you. Can you speak more loudly? Make as big as possible, right? You need to maximize your voice. Okay. Make as big as possible. Okay. So then, uh, just I noticed that some people already were checking the name of some students who weren't here today. Right? So don't do that. Okay. I can see the students not here by asking questions. Okay. So if somebody in the class, because we have so many students, I'm going to. I don't have time to call 70 names every time, right? So I'm going to pass the list around. But we have punish, kind of a punishment rule. If the name is here, somebody checks your name, then you're going to lose 2% for attendance, right? Do you understand? Somebody checks your name, you're not here. Not today, but from, that, from the future time, okay? So then, does anybody have any question about the class today? No? Okay, then... Uh, Remember that it's useful to buy the book, so you can uh, just give the money to me or to the secretary. And then next week, on Friday, I will go with all the money to the Chang Moon and print out all the books. Okay? So just before the next week or next Friday, just bring in the man one. Okay? So then, see you then. I'm